Hi there, Matt Filio here in the studio and today I'm working on painting reflections. Painting reflections on glasses. So I want to show you a few techniques uh, for getting realism and creating that effect of light hitting um, glasses on, on a portrait. So we'll dive right in here in just a moment. First I'm going to zoom in the camera. This is a one-man operation. I don't have an assistant. Uh, maybe that'll change down the road, but for now we're just going to zoom in here on his face and show you the details of painting reflections on glasses. So what we want to do, first of all, is get some matte medium on our brush and hopefully you can see the, the palette as I'm mixing the colors. It's zoomed in so it's a little hard to show everything but I have my matte medium right here and we want everything to be really fluid. I have my reference photo you can see that and maybe 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 you can see the reflections on his glasses they're very very faint. Um, sorry it's a little hard to show you everything here but just to see those reflections in the upper corners and that's what I'm going to be painting from. Um, this is a client supplied photo that's why it's so small. Um, but anyway we're going to take some titanium white and that's what we're going to start with but if I just use straight white on there it's going to be way way too bright. So I do need to tone it down and raw or dark is going to be my color of choice for that. It gets us kind of a gray that's a little to the warmer side than just using ivory black. And so I'm just mixing that together. Show you so you can see that. And thinning it out with matte medium. And then the placement of it is very important. So I want to place it just in this upper corner because that's where you know I see it in the reference photo. And I'm going to have to get pretty close to get this in here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not blocking the camera. And again, the positioning is important. This reflection needs to come down to a certain point. And I'm using this round brush, size 8. And it just uh, gives me the ability to really get this in here in some fine detail. And then you really have to... Um, go over many times. You see I'm kind of using different angles of strokes to smooth this out. Even using my finger a little bit to dab away some of the paint so it's just in the spot where I want it. I want to get this reflection right up to the edge. Right up to the edge of the frame of the glasses. Alright, so that, that's one aspect of it right there. It's just getting in that initial color and then on the other side we're going to put a reflection over here that might have to go a little lighter because it's going over a lighter area so we're just going to grab a little more of the titanium white in this mixture and just trying to make a, the right shape that I see in the reference photo it's kind of a little L, backwards L shape. There's some other reflections as well. I don't want to have all the reflections in there, but just a few. Now that I'm going to thin out this color a little bit more with matte medium and then I'm going to do a very faint reflection on this side. I don't know what what actually is in those reflections. It looks like people in the background. That's what's being picked up here by his glasses. I don't want to have too many reflections. I don't want to have as many reflections as what's in the reference photo because it's a little distracting. You can't quite see the detail of his eyes as well. But just a few. Just enough to tell us that you know these are in fact eyeglasses and I think that gives it a little more believability. Now with that I want to get the reflection on his frame so we're adding 
just a little bit of the shininess to the inside here. I want to get this brush to a nice point, really twist that around. And again, just the same color, titanium white and raw umber dark, diluted with matte medium. That's all we're using here. And I'm going over just with the first layer. I'm going to dab that to soften the edge just a little bit. And hopefully I can bring that up a little bit higher here. So it's going to be a little thicker at this point. That's where the light is hitting it towards this area. Now after that dries, I'm going to add another highlight on top of the highlight. And that's really going to give it that shine. You can't do this all in one step. It takes a few layers to make it happen. So you have to be a little patient with this process um, and using the glazing technique. Now I'm going to take some raw umber dark and add this to the mix. I want to get a little bit of a highlight right here on this side of the frame. The light seems to be hitting that just in a certain point. And then let's um, refine the edges of the glasses of the frame just a bit. Some titanium white and burnt sienna. Titanium white, burnt sienna. And what we're going to do is just go on the edge and refine the edge of the frame a little bit. I think that's really important. So you can go in in a add it additional way and a subtractive way. You can go on painting um, the frame using black paint, but then if you exceed the lines, you can actually cut back in with the flesh tone color if you've made mistakes and refine what you've done. That's not too hard to do. Here, I want to refine that just a little bit as well. All right, and we can also refine the edge just a bit on this side as well. Just thin that out a little bit. Now, let's get the shadow in underneath. I know we're talking mostly about reflections and eyeglasses, but while as other areas are drying, I'm going to do a little more work around that area. So I'm going to mix something a little warmer, burnt sienna and a little bit of naphthal, or sorry, organic red orange. And I want to make a little bit of a shadow color that I can put underneath the glasses. Maybe a little bit of alizarin crimson as well, just so it's got enough warmth to it. Needs a little more red. We'll try that again. I want to get that color right. A little more alizarin crimson. Show you what I'm mixing here. And just to get that shadow. Thin this out with a little more matte medium at the end of this layer. the edge of this shadow with a little bit of um, raw sienna and then we'll soften that edge a little bit more. But let's see if that shadow can extend below the frame just a little bit. That just gives it a little more depth that makes it look like the glasses are actually there on his face. And these little details make a big difference in the final portrait really do. Titanium white, raw sienna, we're going to go in and darken this inside area just a bit. So that's something you need to do as well is realize the glass does cast its own shadow on the interior of the glasses usually because um, it refracts the light, excuse me, it refracts the light 
and because it refracts the light, <clears throat> then we do have a little bit of shadow coming in from that side. Darken this side just a bit as well. And we're just adding that in with a very light glaze, excuse me, a very light glaze, and just touching the edge of the the glaze so that it's a little softer. Okay, now that this is dry, that these areas are dry, I can come back in with a highlight on top of the highlight. So I'm going to take some titanium white. Raw Umber Dark again, same mix as before, matte medium, but this time a little more titanium white. Show you what I'm mixing here, and then I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight within the highlight to give that more depth. So now just in upper corners of that highlight, that'll really make it come alive. All right, and then. And let's um, add the slightest little highlights out here on this reflection. And I want <clears throat> almost straight white, <clears throat> excuse me, almost straight white for this highlight right here. <clears throat> the highlight going, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> for the highlight going just in this area right here. Need a little bit more of a highlight. There we go. And see if there's anything else. And I wanted to have a little bit of a highlight. I'm talking about highlights a lot, I know. A um, little bit of a highlight down here on the frames of the glasses on the underside. So this will be a little bit darker. So more raw or dark in the mix. You don't want to use white for this. The value should be closer to, not, not just like black, but it should be closer to black. I'm going to have to really get in here close to get this. My eyes are better up close. Okay, so just that little bit of a highlight there. In fact, that color might even be a little too, a little too light. So I'm going to take some ivory black, raw umber dark mix a darker version of that and just darken the edges fade that out that because that detail has to be very very subtle very very subtle see if there's anything else we can do within here. I think I think that's going to be good. I might add a couple more nuances later, but overall I like the effect that I achieved here. So that's just to show you how you can paint reflections within eyeglasses in an acrylic portrait. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and be sure to check out more of my tutorials, uh, both written and video tutorials at Realistic Acrylic Portrait School. That's realisticacrylic.com. And I'd uh, love to connect with you there. Leave comments for me, questions in this video. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon.